so why is emotional regulation important for females on the autism spectrum? I'm gonna get into all of this right now because it's super important. Guys, welcome back to the Aspie World. What on earth is diggly dealy going on? I am Dan and I have autism and ADHD and I make weekly videos all about helping people, helping you achieve goals on the autism spectrum because I believe that we can create a better, amazing world if we all team together and create a movement that's just gonna just blow the lid and get everyone to their full potential. I love it. So if you want to join this movement, join me, be a part of this whole thing, then please join by clicking the notification bell down below by hitting that little notification bell and, and subscribing to this channel uh, and you'll see all the videos that I upload. And um, I also upload videos every single day on my other social media like Instagram and TikTok. So if you want to follow me on those platforms, please do so because it just is pretty awesome and, and, and my DMs are always open, so just hit me up. guys. You know, emotional regulation is difficult for autistic individuals. Now, girls on the autism spectrum will have issues with emotional regulation down to the simple fact that females on the autism spectrum have a stronger connection to emotions, but there's still the, the, the issues with emotional regulation. Now, emotional regulation is regulating how you feel about emotions, how you feel with your emotions. Are you able to express emotions? Are you able to talk about your emotions? Are you able to tell someone how you really feel about your emotions? Now. Emotions come from the word energy in motion. Now, what this means is that you'll have a buildup of energy that you want to express in a certain way. And emotion is how you express it, right? So you feel a certain way and you want to express it. You feel really, really happy, you'll smile and laugh and joke around, it'll be great. But autistic individuals, because autism is inherently a communication disorder, the communication between yourself to know this is an emotion and I want to put that into motion, or it is an energy and I want to put it into motion. It's, it's not there, it's disconnected, there's a, there's, a, there's a disconnect. So instead we have emotional dysregulation or no emotional regulation at all, where you could be seen to be having a really stressful time in an event which is really, really happy because you can't say, oh, you know, I'm actually really hot sat next to um, the window in the sun, can I move? Uh, you, you can't figure that out because your emotions are overtaking and you don't know which emotion you're going to put into motion into an energy that is the way that you want it to be heard. So the importance of actually having emotional regulation is tenfold, you know, I mean, it has so many, so many areas. So let's go back a bit. How can we get this? How can we get it to a place where we understand? If we think about energy in motion again, it's really interesting. If we break it down to two parts, you have energy, you have motion. We all know how to motion. If I said to you, hey, um, you know, flap your hands. You just flap our hands, right? That's motion. If I said to you, think about an energy, you'd be like, okay, I want to think about energy of feeling sad or think about energy of feeling happy or think about energy of feeling um, hungry or the energy of feeling thirsty. You, you know, all of those energies, right? So all we do is this. You need to analyze your position, your situation when you're in it. Say, okay, uh, I am feeling annoyed. Annoying is the feeling. How do I want to put that into motion? Stand up and talk verbally so on. I am feeling very stressed, very anxious at the moment. I wanna do something different, I'm uncomfortable, I need to move. Remember, choosing the energy or identifying the energy and then choosing the motion in which you relay that energy to somebody else or to the world is how you regulate emotions. Practice always makes progress. So this is what I, this is what I tend to do. I tend to just tell randomly, like my partner or my friends, I'll be like, huh, I'm feeling hungry right now. Because the more I practice, understanding my own emotion, the better and more regular those emotions are going to be understood. So I can regulate my emotions more easy by practicing. Practice makes progress, guys. If you want to download my free life hacks PDF book on autism, then you can do from autismhacks.net right now. I love you guys. Peace.